to get started, visit the DevOps repository and download the code. You can download it as a zip file or you can clone the Git repository. Go ahead and download the zip file that contains the app. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and zip it and move it to the desktop. That's what we're going to be working with. Next step is to run the app. Let's open the folder. Let's open the Xcode project. Let's clean and then run. So the app comes up. It has two stories, one about Wordline and another one about CLI. The app is very simple. It's built using storyboards. There's a main storyboard. It contains a table view controller with a reusable cell and a transition to a view controller that contains two labels and a button. Next step is to install the work like command line interface. You can download the zip file and follow the instructions to install the work like CLI. You can always download it, go back from the developer works, getting started. If you go to getting work like developer edition, you can download the CLI from there also. I'm going to cancel the download since I already have it installed. I guess open terminal. You can check if you have the Word like CLI installed by doing W help. That will give you more information on how to use the CLI. I'll be following instructions in the README. Uh, the first step is to create a Word like server. This needs to be done only once. And you can create multiple projects for, for this server. So let's run that. And let's move to change directory to that folder that we just downloaded. So, nice little trick here. Next, since so we're in that folder, let's create a new work like project using WL create and then changing directory to that new directory that's going to be created. As you can see, this is a typical work like project directory structure. Next step is to add um, the native API. Next, let's add an adapter. Let's name it news. Type HTTP. So the adapter will be used to get stories from CNN. Next, let's start the server. Next, let's run work like build to build our adapters and API. Next, let's deploy it to our server. Running work like deploy. Next, let's open the console so we can see what got deployed. So this is the work like console. As you can see, we deploy the native iOS app and the news adapter which contains by default two procedures, get stories and get stories for return. Next, uh, we can test the adapter on the command line. So we can do work like invoke. We can select the procedure. It doesn't take parameters. And we can see we got a HTTP response back with all our news from CNN. Okay, so next, following the instructions, let's add the Word like API to our to the app that we just downloaded. So the first step is to add the files, the Word like API files. Let's open Xcode. Let's go to the project. Let's add files. Let's go into the Word like project. And go into apps, Word like native iOS, and select the Word like .p list and Word like API. Check copy items and make sure create groups is selected and the target is selected. Add. Next step is to add the dependencies. So let's 
go to general, the bottom frameworks and libraries. Step number two. Step number three says to go to build settings, search for header search path, and add where our header files are located. So build settings, search for header search path, and let's add this path, what like APIs. Next step is add the linker flags so go to build settings search for other link flags other linker flags and let's add dash objective c next step is to turn on keychain sharing capabilities switch to capabilities let's find keychain sharing let's turn that on Okay, next step is to change the code to use the word like APIs. Let's go to the table view controller, change word like zero to word like one, save, let's clean. And let's run the app. So this time we're getting Contacting our adapter, adapter is contacting CNN, we're getting stories back. As you can see, you can click the button, visit the story, go back, it's in home. And that's the demo, thank you.